also guys this morning Judy Wang is live in Elgin where storms did some of their worst damage. Hey Judy. Good morning. You know, there's going to be a lot of cleaning up to do here this Friday morning after a rough night in Elgin. A lot of homes and businesses are still waiting for their power to come back on, but it appears that ComEd crews are making steady progress getting uh, thousands of people here back online. One resident posted this video of some power line damage. Uh, this happened at Brook and Laval streets. Emergency dispatchers say they've received about 400 calls for service overnight. Elgin's fire department Twitter page lists reports of wires down or low. Uh, some of the streets reported with uh, wires down include Huron Drive, Augusta Avenue and Fremont Street. A lot of tree damage also on Park Street near Dundee Avenue. Right now, about 10,500 Kamei customers still don't have power. At the height of the storm, nearly 30% of the city did not have electricity. The heavy rain and the 60 mile per hour winds moved in during the evening after several dry 90 degree, de uh, degree days rather with heat indices near 100. Now Elgin is the only suburb uh, hit. There's storm damage in several north suburbs including Libertyville, Grays Lake, Gurney and Lake Forest. Uh, in daylight we are starting to get a better look at the damage here on Park Street. A lot of uh, tree damage here. The rain uh, hasn't let up much. It's been very heavy. I think uh, maybe Maybe perhaps it could be several more hours before residents come out to start to clean all of this up. Reporting from Elgin, Judy Wang, WGN News.